baby. Morning, guys. Last. Sunday of November. Welcome to the Cook's Bay Fishing Board. Reports every day until the ice is safe on Cook's Bay, okay? Anyway, check out what we got this morning. This is a little barometer of what's happening out there. You can see everything is melting. Maybe plus 10 has something to do with that. But anyway, we're going to check areas around Guilford to show you what's happening there, just to keep you informed. Because we're still optimistic that we're going to get on the ice before the end of the year. But that's yet to be determined, but we're optimistic. Anyway, guys, a couple little uh, videos to show you before we get into it. But anyway, good morning and welcome. We'll be right back. Presenting Ice Cabin's newest four-man sleeper, the Ice Box. Let's go have a look at it. Brand new, ready to go. Full kitchen. I'm going to supply some pots and pans. Got your cooking stove. Two rooms, back room consists of four bunks. Still got a pan them yet, but they're ready to go. Still minor adjustments to make, but here's the concept. You got a huge trough in the middle, okay? This area here, you got a fold down table that folds right down. But other than this, we're going to supply some sort of seating. Not 100% sure yet, but it's very important because if you want to stay here on the weekend you want to be very comfortable as far as your seating but anyway here it is icebox the newest creation from icecabins.com now taking your bookings couple things I want to go uh, over with you guys. Anyway, this is the main page of the Cooks Bay Fishing Board. See down at the bottom, this is the shout box. You can put little blips in here as far as what's going on, you know, say hello to the guys, uh, maybe post the weather conditions in your area, but you can do that, guys. Like lots of people are doing. But anyway, if you got some time, sign up to the board. It's uh, lots of great members. Excellent information. You like to fish on the Keswick side? Lots of info. Anyway, and here's another thing. If you feel like it, take our videos, throw it on your favorite message board, okay guys? Because we want to keep everybody safe. But if you go back later and you find that the uh, video is no longer on the particular board that you're uh, posting it on, what does that tell you guys? Anyway. Do you hear that noise? That's water draining into this area of this marina. Those aren't good signs, okay? We, we don't want to hear any water draining. But anyway, this is what we got on this area. So, keeping me informed, we're going to move on, show you a couple other areas. But that's it. We'll be right back, bros. Anyway, if you can hear, I got a little hoarse throat because uh, I have a little medical condition I'm trying to get over with and what it's doing, it's uh, dehydrating me. But uh, I'm working through it. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna keep you guys safe because my little problem, no big deal. Anyway, be right back guys. Okay guys, here we go. I'm standing at the end of Guilford Road where all the action happens here. Okay, we supply a washroom, 
for everybody to use. That's even for all the other operators, regardless if they win their pitch in a couple of bucks. But anyway, we're going to supply it regardless. Anyway, we're looking right across over to Keswick. And you know, there's always ice forming on that side of the, the bay for a set. Let's see if we can go right across and see what we can see. There we go. See that guy? There's a crate. So you can see that. Can you see that, guys? That's a little bit of that's skim ice. Just from the shore deteriorating, I imagine. But it's still there, guys. You see it, right? We got some members that post the conditions over there. We appreciate that. So that's as close as I can get. So that's what's happening. Whether it's going to be there at the end of the day, nobody knows, but I'm sure uh, a couple of members are going to post that up. But that's it, guys. Take a look. Up at the big water there. I don't know if you can see, but that's the uh, Roach's Point. So the trees are in the way. The big water up there usually takes a couple weeks to freeze after the bay is ready. When that's going to be, nobody knows. There's the south end. Okay. Uh, Apparently you can hunt today, but it has to be on the east side of the Holland River down there. Or in a boat. I, I, I'm pretty sure you can't uh, hunt uh, on this side of the bay. That's what I've been told. I'm not a hunter, but uh, that's the scoop. So anyway, guys, you're going to have uh, some time to get out there in your boat. Next couple days. But other than that, this is what we get, guys. Sunday morning, the last day in November. Anyway, I'm going to post this up. I'm going to talk to you guys real soon. And like I said, if you get some time to uh, hook up with the Cooks Bay Fishing Board, go right ahead. We'd appreciate that. Looking to uh, book a sleeper or a hut for this winter. Give icecabins.com. A shout check out the website see what we think we're gonna talk to you guys <clears throat> real soon